It's no secret that shiny Pokemon are the rarest and most sought after Pokemon in the games. It's also no secret that in the newest games they are just becoming easier and easier to get. With the Sparkle Power 3 sandwiches being the main cost, the Indigo Disc DLC added a new contender to the shiny hunting meta. Once you unlock the cafeteria area in the Blueberry Academy, you can talk to the worker in there and purchase food using BP unlocked from the BB Quest. Your choices are the Academy Pizza for Teensy Power Level 2 and Raid Power Level 1 for all types. This could be good for grinding Urban Mystica with that raid power. The Academy Shake with item drop power level 2 and title power level 1. Kind of useless. The Academy Fries with Humongo power level 2 and XP power level 1. And the last one being the Academy Special with Catch power level 2, Egg power level 1, Sparkling power level 1 for all types. That's right, for measly 150 BP, you can get a Sparkle Power sandwich for 30 minutes for all types without Herba Mystica. How is this new food item going to impact the shiny hunting meta? And how does it compare in practice to our tried and true Encounter Power level 3, Sparkle Power level 3 sandwiches? Let's find out. My plan to test this was super simple. I'm going to use four of the Academy specials for each of the four biomes and see how many shinies I can get. I was super surprised by the roller coaster of events that were about to happen though. But before I tell you how the shiny hunting went, it would mean a lot if you would leave a like on the video. And after finish watching, make sure to subscribe if you guys enjoyed. Okay, let's get what everyone came here for, the shiny Pokemon. Other than what was required for the story of the DLC, I didn't really do much exploring in any of the biomes. I decided to start in the first biome you visit in the terrarium, the Savannah biome. Main features are these mud puddles that you can find some water types, and if you have the starters unlocked, Sobble and Totodile will spawn here. During the first sandwich, I decided instead of trying to hunt in a specific part of the biome, I would run around and see what all spawns in the biome. I noticed mostly Execute and Rhyhorn spawn a lot, but also a shiny trap inch would be cool if we could get one. At roughly 29 minutes and 15 seconds into the sandwich, I noticed this shiny Chansey hiding behind a rock. I couldn't let it escape being the first shiny of the challenge, so I tactfully ran up to it, and a couple of false swipes later, I caught it. With the second sandwich, I wanted to find where Snivy spawned because I didn't find any in the first sandwich. I ran into one of the boosted shiny Milkrai outbreaks and found the shiny Milkrai. I won't complain even though it probably did, had nothing to do with the sandwich. I then not only found where Snivy spawned, but also it was shiny. This guy looks so good as a shiny. On the third sandwich, I was about to give up, but at 28 minutes and 15 seconds on the sandwich, the shiny Rhyhorn ran by to keep me in this challenge. On the fourth sandwich, my goal was a shiny trap inch. This shiny looks so good and I love Flygon, so it was a simple decision. After running past so many trap inch, I saw this weird looking Vibrava that sparkled. It's not a trap inch, but I'll take it. Overall, it seems like a valid shiny hunting method being five shinies and four sandwiches. Surely our luck won't change when we move on to the next biome. Next up, we have the Canyon biome, which is personally my least favorite biome because it's so hard to navigate. It is cool though that no matter where you go, you can find a starter Pokemon and Tyrogue, which I think this might be the first time it's widely available to be caught. Don't quote me on that. I got my first sandwich for this biome started running around. It started off like the savannah biome where I was just trying to get the lay of the land and when 30 minutes passed there was no shiny to be seen. That's okay though, sometimes you just had bad luck. So I got the second sandwich to start hunting. 30 more minutes gone by with nothing to show for it. The third the sandwich was the same. We got the fourth and final sandwich for the canyon biome. We ended off with zero shinies. This was crazy to me with how the savannah biome went, but we are using sparkling power one instead of three so this might just have been the difference we were looking for. Off to the coastal biome. Ah, the coastal biome. With its beaches, nice grassland, and nice water area to hunt, this was going to be a lot more fun. The coastal biome is the only biome I have explored more completely because I just had to get the shiny mudkip as fast as possible. I started to notice a trend with this hunt where after I get the sandwich, it makes me wait until the last three minutes of the sandwich to show me any love, but I got rewarded for my patience with my first shiny in over two hours, this gold shiny meow stick. But my luck would disappear again because I spent over another hour with sandwiches two, three, and four with no shinies. This is far from a scientific test but i decided to make a sparkle power 3 sandwich and trying to get more shinies to keep me motivated and I almost immediately found this really cool shiny execute shortly after i found a shiny alolan executor as well with this shiny egg and this shiny neck tree thing i was ready to head to the last biome ah yes the polar biome this biome makes the least amount of sense out of all the biomes you have mountains that have steel and fire types spawning together as you go lower off the mountains, you find ice and water types, which makes sense, and some random normal and psychic types. Under the mountains is the Chargestone Cavern, which, like the Chargestone Cave in Unova, has electric types. 
Before I even got the first sandwich for this biome, I was doing some BB quests and found the shiny Grand Bowl. I then got my sandwich and I ended up not finding any shiny Pokemon in all four sandwiches. Very frustrated, I thought I would make a Sparkle level 3, Encounter level 3 fire sandwich trying to hunt for either shiny Chimchar or a shiny Score Bunny. This was a huge mistake for my morale. I spent six level 3 sandwiches hunting for one of these two shinies and eventually I did get the shiny score bunny. So what did we find out after doing this experiment? Well, not a whole lot, unfortunately. According to Cerebi.net, the base odds with a shiny charm are 1 out of 1,365. Level 1 Sparkle Sandwich makes it 1 out of 1,024. And a level 3 Sparkle Sandwich makes it 1 out of 683 odds to find a shiny. The odds get better with each of the Sparkle Powers, but take what you want. I'm going to keep using my Sparkle Power 3 Sandwiches when I'm trying to shiny hunt so I can get the shinies that I want.